Hey everybody, so we're playing Minecraft again. Yeah, I know, it's really, really weird. It's been months and months and months. Uh, but recently, I kind of just got the urge to jump back on, so um, we will. So we're going to play some Minecraft today. Um, there's been a lot of new updates, which is really, really cool. We're going to be checking out some of them. Quick story, I actually already recorded about four hours and did all the exploring, but then I figured out my mic was messed up. So, we're redoing it. Yeah, also it's going to be a little bit funny because I recorded the second episode, or the one after this, so I'm recording the first episode before the second episode, that's why a lot of stuff might seem a little bit different in the background, uh, but yeah, whatever, I don't care. What we're going to be doing today is checking out some of the new things with the aquatic update. We haven't played in it yet, I know it's like a month old, we haven't played with it, so turtles, dolphins, kelp, uh, coral. Uh, pirate ships, all the loot, all that stuff. We're going to be checking it, all of it out right now. Um, so, real quick, just a little bit of other things. Um, I'm using Optifine right now. Um, I wasn't using it in the first episode, now I am because a couple of lag issues. So, I have Optifine now, which is really, really cool. Um, I built a couple of things off camera. One of those things was this parrot cage over here. It's a really simple build. I know I told you guys that I was going to build like a place for my parrots and I just ended up doing it offline. But yeah, it's this thing right here. I'm just making sure. Yes, I'm recording. I'm good. Very nice. So it's just like a little stone cage, a little tree, some shrubs, and uh, the parrots are chilling. Um, very, very simple. Uh, nothing too large. Also, I built a giant house thing and then I blew it up. Um, too bad you guys can't see that because the footage was poopy. I can still probably put it in here, but I don't know if I still have the footage. Um, but yeah, so this is a little thing from the first episode. Um, I ended up getting some buckets of fish, a little bit of coral, a couple of treasure maps, uh, some sea pickles, stuff like that. Got some podzol while traveling, some kelp, but we're going to be re-exploring that right now. So guys, give me a second to get ready, and then we're going to go out and have a little adventure. Okay guys, so I've got everything set. I've got some potions of night visions, water breathing, a couple of elytras just in case, and actually I should probably... Uh, you know, I'll keep them on me for now because we do. <laughs> what is he doing here? He's not supposed to be here. All right, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, so here's what's going to happen, guys. Obviously, since it's a new update, I'm going to have to go pretty far away for the new stuff to be generated. And now, lag. Here's the only issue, right? That means I have to go very far away, and that's completely fine. I'm still, I don't know how that, how that pigment got in there. So here's what I did the first step. Okay, <laughs> here's what I did the first episode, right? New world, question, question mark. This tunnel goes about 2,000 blocks. And if you guys know, in the nether, it's eight blocks for one for every one in... Or it's one block here, eight in the upper world. So this is 16,000 blocks away that I went. And I ended up exploring all of it. Well, I don't want to go back because I explored all of it, right? So I'm going to have to make another 2,000 block that way. Alright guys, so I built about 1,500 this way, and I think that should be enough. So I'm going to make it down there, and then we'll get started. Okay guys, so I think we're about good right here. So let's go ahead and light this boy up. Alright, there we go. You guys have probably seen it, I'm just going to be honest. But hey, if you haven't, that's cool. And also, I'm in the ground. So I that's not what I wanted at all. Alright, we've hit the surface. There we go. So now what we're going to have to do, um, because since this is underground, it's going to be a little bit harder to remember kind of where it's at. Yeah, let's get started. I got my Elytra on. Let me just throw some of this crap away. And like I said, we're going to be targeting the new items from the aquatic update. So let's get started. I'm just going to, I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and go. And when I find something, I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, so this is going to be your first look at kelp. Uh, so I think this is an ocean, um, and that stuff down there is new. So I'm going to drink um, a night thingy potion, and that gives you really good like vision underwater, which is super, super nice. So yeah, this is the kelp. Uh, now, I don't know if I have animations off because I'm using Optifine, but it usually has nice little animations. Okay, so this is how the animations look, Now I'm not going to keep them on because... As you see, my computer doesn't handle it too well, but if you break these, uh, they act kind of like cactus, and then they all float up, which is really, really cool. So yeah, you can just kind of break them, 
and they'll float up to the top and you can collect them when you get up there so I'm gonna break some of these collect some and we'll bring some back home also they apparently added the feature to swim so you can see I was kind of swimming yeah I don't know that is I'm really glad they added a swim thingy but yeah as you can see it just floats to the top and you can just collect them now that's another thing is those fish uh, that's another thing I wanted to look at so if you take the bucket you have to have a water bucket so not just like an empty bucket a water bucket and you fill them up and you go up to these fish you can actually snatch them so you just yoink a root and that fish is mine okay so I'm gonna grab actually a bunch of these fish because we're gonna make an aquarium when we get home uh, so I'm gonna try to grab as many of these fish as possible and right there are dolphins which are also very very cool Oop! I just completely what am I what have I clicked Okay, um, I'm not going to grab that cod because those are like very common. Uh, I want you. You, come here. You, come here. Gotcha. So I'm going to grab quite a few of these fish. And also, I kind of want to show you guys which fi that fish. That's the fish I didn't grab. Come here. And also kind of want to give you guys like a look at as many new fish as possible. Ooh, I've never... That one looks sick. All right, let's grab one of these. Let's grab some air real quick. Oof. Grab some air. And then I know everything looks weird, guys, because of Optifine, but actually, I kind of like it like this better, to be honest. Also, and yeah, so my settings are weird. Um, there's dolphins, right? Let's take a look. Me, give me, give me. Come on. No, no, no. Nice. Okay. Let's play with the dolphins. Um, so they do. They're funny little mobs. I don't know if you can tame them or not. I don't think so. Uh, but funny thing is they kind of do tricks sometimes in the water. Like they jump up. And they do actually attack you. If you hit them, they attack back. Which is kind of funny. Uh, and they don't really drop anything. I Ooh, that's a new mob right there. Okay, we'll take a look at that guy in a second. Um, and a little bit of lag. But they don't drop anything. Uh, I think... No, nope, that's my phone. I think they just drop uh, cod. Which is kind of funny. Let's kill this one and I'll kind of give you guys another example. If the thing will come to me. Oh, come here. Yep, see, they just drop cod. Now these, this is a whole... This is basically just zombies for the water. Um, yeah, you kill it. it. It has a chance to drop a trident, and some of them, like, carry tridents and throw them at you. Uh, but most of the time, they just drop, uh, you know, just normal zombie stuff, so rotten flesh. And over there is actually something new. Alright, guys, this is probably one of the crappiest ships I've seen. They're usually pretty large. Um, yeah, this one's really, really small. I don't even think there's actually going to be a chest in this one. Usually there's chests. There, oh, there actually is a single chest. Nice. And sometimes it does that. You kind of, I don't know, my computer's acting up. Yeah, there we go. See, now, yeah, I, that is not. All right, guys. So I restarted my computer quickly. Now, uh, let's place these in here very, very quick. Also that. Uh, let's scoop this back up. Let's go ahead and grab that treasure map. We can leave the rest in there. Break that so we know we already got it. And let's skedaddle right, everybody here is another example of one so let's check this out um once again i think this is a really really crappy one uh it has a chest in it though which is good let's take a look at what's in here that is <laughs> really really bad okay we're just gonna act like that one was never opened let's see any chest yep there's one and there's literally nothing in it literally the only good thing out of this chest is basically treasure maps which i'm probably not going to do most of them okay and i need to wait wait this isn't my silk touch uh i need my silk touch probably gonna start dying in a minute here yep i need a did i get it i got it i got it okay i need to start heading towards the top all right look at that we found ourselves a little village so I'm just going to quickly rate it. Let me just throw away some stuff. So a couple quick tips about villages, just in case you guys didn't know. So there's basically nothing you can get here of value. Obviously, if you're a starter, you just get the vegetables. But for me, those aren't really useful. The only thing useful in here are uh, these bookshelves because, believe it or not, bookshelves are fairly expensive to craft. Quickly raid. What does he have? Di okay, that's a pretty good di Okay. That's actually not that bad. Uh, diamonds and a... Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I like this blacksmith. He has some good stuff. 
All right, well, while the zombies attack that village, I'm going to go away and do something exciting. Okay, so here is another new thing, turtles. So along with dolphins, turtles got added. Uh, now, they're not that exciting. I heard something about turtle eggs. I've not seen turtle eggs yet. Don't really know if you can tame them. Um, what I do know, though, is you can kill them, and they don't drop very good stuff. So I'll show you guys. They basically just drop seagrass. Yeah, so not really sure what you do with seagrass. Um, but turtles can swim pretty good. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There was two turtles. Very, very exciting in here. Instead of killing this one, I'll let you guys kind of take a look. It's pretty cool. I like it. Again, I, I want to see some eggs. I don't know where to get the eggs. All right, time's up. Too exciting. And night vision potions are a pretty good way to kind of scout out the ocean. I mean, as long as you can kind of see. Um, and not lagging all over the place. Uh, let's see, where is the chest? Is there even a chest in this one? I guess let's dig down. No, it doesn't. Maybe the game just wasn't loading it in for me. Seems to happen quite a lot. And it won't even let me go into the chest. So that's kind of cool. I always, I always appreciate when my computer doesn't let me uh, play Minecraft. But I'm glad I waited because that's some good stuff right there a good bit of ore all right keep, we're gonna keep moving on some beetroot uh but once again i'm just gonna do the very very quick run in run out see what this boy has literally garbage get rid of that and you know what even for once i'm just gonna leave the bookshelves there because i'm too lazy to soak touch them okay guys it looks like i kind of hit what i wanted um we've got a pirate ship and a coral biome now i really i want i want to show you guys a coral biome without oh there's another one without night vision because it looks so much better oh and there's a is that a temple is that a temple or a hill that is a temple okay i was like i didn't know if i was hallucinating or not well i'm definitely not getting near that temple so let's get this pirate ship and then once my night vision wears off we'll go over to that coral biome Let's take a look what's in here though hopefully there's not doesn't look like there's anything near that can attack me so i think we're good the little rooms if this could get out of the way that'd be great and yes this one this one's very good here I'll just... that one's very nice okay we've collected quite a like quite a number of emeralds just from pirate ships already and there there's plenty of pirate ships okay maybe this could be a new chance to take a look at the new mobs although it's kind of dangerous because oh oh i completely missed that um see so yeah, like i said there are pretty like randomly generated things like this like you would never notice this uh basically unless you had night vision on because this is like just so random so let's go ahead and break that block uh <laughs> that's a yikes we're gonna just oh ow what hit me ah there you are yoink Okay, got one of those. <laughs> Gotta collect all the fish. So, this is what the coral biome looks like. Once again, give it a minute until my night vision wears off. Uh, these sea pickles light up, and yeah, they're really, really cool. But now, I do want to show you guys something interesting about this. You can obviously collect these sea pickles, and they're really, really nice. But these coral blocks, they look really, really nice and stuff, but you actually can't get them without a silk touch. And I'll show you guys right now what happens. We're gonna get some air. Um, I've got my silk touch here and a normal one right there So as you can see if I just break it with a normal a normal pick it turns into dead coral blocks And obviously you don't want dead coral blocks, and I, I don't know if there's a way to transform them back um, But yeah, but if you do it with the silk touch uh, You do get the block itself in its color form just like that and there's a lot of colors blue yellow green uh, I don't think there's a green. There's be <laughs> I can't speak. But yeah, uh, plenty of colors, plenty of coral. It's uh, very nice. Okay, I have never seen that before. What the heck is he holding? I mean, I think it's called a Nautilus shell, but I've never seen one hold that. I wonder if that's like a 100% drop rate for that. Let me... Yes, that is. Okay, a Nautilus shell. I have no idea what that does, actually. Um... I'm, I'm gonna google that in a second all right guys so right now it's night time and i kind of just wanted to show you guys kind of what it looked uh during the night actually let me turn my brightness even lower 
let's see what it looks like so you can see it looks really really cool and obviously if you're traveling during the nighttime you'll definitely see this and once again sorry about the lag it's a little bit weird i don't know why i'm lagging so much probably because i'm in a coral biome and they have a bunch of like sea pickles and stuff uh but yeah it looks like this guy wants a little something something uh i don't have my sword but yeah guys seeing the coral biome and i think i finally fixed my fps it looks really really nice like i'm really glad they added this to this game Oof, thank you that is a good bit man these pirate ships there was one or two that have been really really bad so i popped another night vision let's jump over here there seems to be a couple of things okay i need it to stop doing that there we go it's like man that thing travels for a long time oh i need to break this block don't i get out of here okay and after the lag it's, it's so bad like i really if i'm gonna get uh poles i need something better than that and these these things i think pretty sure these are new right all right i see another nice little structure here and this one has like even like a little fancy roof over here now let's go ahead and break through the top see some zombies in there Ooh, there's I can hear a lot of zombies oh okay there's I see a chest ouch <gasps> there's a trident boy oh no that's a trident boy okay we're gonna have to kill this trident boy come here where'd you go where'd you go oh Ooh, I need to get to him before he yes he dropped his trident he dropped it oh I'm so happy actually I I only I only played with these once and I accidentally threw it back into the ocean which I'll you'll know what I mean in a second here uh, take care of this one there we go I was like did he drop another trident terrible 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 rod go look at let's go inside of this one and there is one inside of here but we will have to get through these two bad guys oh that guy dropped a iron ingot or a gold ingot um once again garbage so we're just gonna go ahead and yeet that one don't need none of that and there was another small oh there's actually i don't think we went in this one either uh let's break this okay well it doesn't look like there was anything in here but now oh there's another trident boy okay i might die i might die i'm probably gonna die oh no all right everybody we're back uh i managed really hard to find the place it was right there so i got all my stuff back um i lost a couple things i know i lost a pick i don't think i lost anything else so my punishment for dying right there and kind of being an idiot uh was the pickaxe i guess but i'll take that but now quickly let's take a look at our first look at the trident and it's technically my first look too because my first trident i lost in the matter of seconds so this should be interesting let's actually go and fight one of these so i don't i think you can punch with it but you can also just throw it so if you aim it back then you just throw it and it hits them and then you could go and you could pick it back up you could have another little stab and it does a good bit of damage now how much damage does it do just like that that's kind of cool okay and another thing i wanted to try i know if you have i think you could do a special move if you have the elytra on and there's the rain um i'm pretty sure if you go down here and then you pass no i just lost another trident well sadly i'm not exactly here to help um so i'm just gonna take what i need and <laughs> leave what okay, that's bad that was that was way too close for my liking that was way too close way 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 too close that, oh he dropped the he dropped the golden uh gold ingot kind of want that kind of wrap around and go and get it after i'm done recording for tonight all right let's just quickly dip into the water see what we can find and this is this is one of the really nice big pirate ships that isn't broken apart at all okay that's some good stuff just gonna grab all of that we can actually i think we can just like jump straight into the basement okay um 
Got these books, why not? Alright guys, so here's what's gonna happen. So it's pretty late for me and I have college in the morning. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna go to sleep and we're gonna continue this the next day or whenever I play Minecraft next. It's, I think, two days later and yeah, we're gonna keep exploring and then we're gonna go back home and do some things. Yeah, ocean. See what we can find. First chest, let it load in. There we go. Go ahead and break that. Make sure we don't confuse ourselves later when we come back. Okay, so this is a treasure map chest. The thing that I'm mainly looking for, like I said earlier, is the ore chest, which is right here. I'm really starting to see like a pattern in the chests now. Just because I do want to get another trident. Hopefully we can break this block before that guy gets to us over there. Might have to break a couple of these. Okay, that is a really crappy chest. Alright guys, I know this might be really, really stupid of me. But, I kind of want to go in that temple. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I'm going to try. Alright guys, uh, put all my stuff down. I'm only carrying basically my armor and essentials. Uh, okay, let's remember I got my suck bitch in the second one. Uh, this is not a good idea at all. This is like actually a really terrible idea. But, um, let's do it, I guess. I'll just drink this now and I'll drink the other one later. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the break through the top method. So, we're just gonna land here, try to drop as quickly as possible. Oh, is that the boss? That is the boss. Okay, I guess we're going straight for the boss. Ooh, I guess we're going straight for the boss. Come here. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, we got him. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe I like overestimated this place. Honestly, that was not that bad. I mean, obviously, I have diamond everything, except I have mining fatigue for five minutes. That sucks a little bit. We might have to wait out a little bit. Well, I guess let's look for the rest of the sponge. You know, I'm just going to go in. Oh, crap, I hit me with this fatigue thing. Ow. Man, the thing doesn't actually hurt that badly. I do need to get close to this stupid thing, though. Come here. Oh, God, that's going to hurt. Ouch. Okay, yes, that thing's dead. Come here. Perfect. Cool. Woo. Both of them are dead. Very nice. Did I get another sponge? Hello? Where's... Oh, there it is. I was like, where is my sponge? I demand my sponge. There's a third one? Okay. Well, um, sure. I really hope it doesn't curse me. Because right now, I'm trying to wait out the mining fatigue. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Die before you curse me. No, 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 no. Die, 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 die. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Okay. It didn't curse me. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's the mainly the scary part is I really didn't want him cursing me. I think the fatigue went away, so let's go ahead and try breaking into this thing. Yep, it looks like it did go away. So let's see what we can find in the middle. And this is kind of a surprise to me, too, because, I mean, again, I haven't played for quite a while, so... Um, looks like we got some ore blocks. It's kind of cool. Let's see how many. I'm guessing it's probably like a 9 by 9 Ooh, that is, that is quite actually a bit of gold. I thought it was going to be a 9 by 9 Looks like it's just a little 4 by 4 But that is still, I think that's like a stack of gold right there. Alright guys, we're here at this other monument. We're going to go for this strange strategy. Uh, we're just going to bust in through the top. And then hopefully we get like the same luck and maybe just kill one of the bosses right away. Oh, okay. There you are. Come here, guy. Ooh, ooh lag, please. Okay. Yeah, these bosses aren't that hard. Although, I should probably have... He, he cursed me, dang it. Okay, he needs to die right now because I'm losing... Okay, I was like, I'm losing health pretty quickly here now. If it'll let me at least... Ouch. 
It's nice though, once they attack, they kind of start swimming. And oftentimes they start swimming near you, which is really, really nice. Because if they attacked and just kept attacking, they'd keep pushing me away. And these things would basically be undefeatable, which is really nice that they kind of like... I can say like, give you a chance to beat them again. I wonder if there's like, any chance of them being like diamonds or anything. Right, let's go ahead and break into these and the same thing. There's just going to be four of them. There we go. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Eight blocks of gold. Very nice. All right, now, here, I'll just break through this way, I guess. I know where the sponge is because I've kind of memorized it. I know it's it's over here. And hey, look, there's the sponges. I actually dug straight into them. Very cool. So, yeah, there's a good bit of sponge in here. I'm just going to... Uh, I wonder, can you break these faster with this? No, this, no, no. Okay, so I don't, and I could try shears, but I don't have shears. I'm pretty sure those wouldn't work. So I guess I'm just going to sit here and uh, get all these by hand. So funny thing, I was going to go all the way back to my portal and then walk back home. But I just realized, I'm looking at my coordinates the way we were going to explore, we were actually heading home. So it's actually shorter instead of heading back to 11,000 to get back to our portal. I'm actually just going to go straight home from the overworld because we're only 4,000 blocks away, I think. So, uh, yeah, we don't even actually need the portal. Guys, so uh, I managed to find my spawn. So now it's really, really easy. I just have to follow the tunnel or home is that way. But um, while we're here, I might as well um, kind of look around. So I've been here, obviously, because I play in this world. But for those of you that haven't watched like episodes 1 through 20, uh, this is our spawn. Uh, I think spawn is actually like right there. That's like the exact spawn. Uh, but this was our first house. Uh, this is like our first little base. Um, these are like our first animals, couple of first crops, our first little farm. If you go in here, obviously I raided most of the stuff because like I just took it to my new base. But yeah, there's these are still uh, uh, all my tools from the very, very beginning in the game. It's kind of interesting to look at. Do we have anything else? No, what, what do we have here? Nano farm to do a pumpkin farm, melon farm. Well, we sure got those done. This is our first bed. But yeah, this, this was our first little spawn, and then we ended up going that way. And I built this nice little railroad track uh, to take us back home. Okay, everybody, so I did some organization, and here's the spoils from our little trip. We got plenty of fish, diamond armor, um, some prismarine things, a lot of sponges, uh, random assortment of objects, Quite a bit of ore, almost two stacks of iron, stack of emeralds, uh, more than a stack of gold, a bunch of pirate uh, maps. So that's really cool. For now, I'm going to leave this stuff here. Uh, I will organize it into these chests uh, in a little bit. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely enjoyed just going out exploring, relaxing, having some fun. So hopefully we'll do this again guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as supports my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.